drifting through centuries. I've got the heart of lightning beyond the horizon. I set off a fire in your heart, flowing to your veins. I am back. I am Revenant. Okay, so now you've gotten the intro. I want to take you through a deep dive on the unboxing experience of the Narika Revenant 1000. I think this is, I'm extremely excited about getting into this box. I'm going to take you step by step what I've done to get this bike together. It's not that hard, it's quick, and this is one top quality bike. So let's go take a look. So the first thing you want to do is ultimately obviously make sure the box is facing straight up. Second thing is you want to ensure that you cut from the corners all the way around. There are these tie downs that will cut through with a, a good razor blade and then ultimately it opens up the box. And now when you take a look inside, which I will give you a top down view and you'll see what this actual bike looks from the inside and how well this bike is packed. I cut the outsides of the box and what do you see? It's a box within a box. Oh, it's a box inside of a box. It actually will give you a workspace. So for example, I'm here outside putting together the bike. I do have a bike stand, but what's nice is you can use the first box as your base and then obviously start putting the wheel on and so forth so you're not gonna scratch the bike up. So packaging so far, very impressive. Haven't seen this before. So they put a box within a box. So really nothing's gonna pierce through the box through transport. Okay, so as you take the other box out, each side is now protected with another round of cardboard. So as you can see, I had the first layer down, second layer, and now you have a third layer. Are you kidding me? Fantastic job to Narika on this packaging so far. assemble this bike there's two parts that you're required to pretty much assemble that's the front wheel into the fork the front handlebars and the pedals now one word of recommendation I would fully recommend taking the bike and on an actual bike stand to actually put the front wheel in uh, you do not want to damage obviously any of the top players here. Now, you do have to install the actual, obviously the front computer here by Bafang. And also you need to uh, install, obviously your controls for the Bafang controller. But ultimately, the first part is getting in this bolt and getting the, uh, the correct amount of torque into the actual bolt to ensure that you're getting enough obviously tightness on this so the wheel doesn't fly off i have to say full disclosure this was the only bike i've ever seen or reviewed that i did not have a problem with the rotor being warped bent rubbing i did not have to make one adjustment which is insane um speaks volumes on their packing and i 
give a huge, huge shout out to the team at Narika for that alone. That is extremely, extremely impressive. The second thing is you're going to need to ensure that you put enough air into the actual front suspension. Now, they do supply you with a pump. Um, I believe I had 100 PSI on the front here is what I went with. It is extremely important that you follow the instructions and I will show you that on a cutscene on how to use that pump. If you do not, it is a losing battle. The air will not go into that front shock and then you're gonna be very frustrated. You also have the ability to lock out to whatever level you would like, which is really nice. They do have a feature where you can do that on the handlebar and you can just press down. I did not get this on this bike. The other piece that is extremely important is this rear, excuse me, the center shock here for the rear. Again, you need to release here. I put 200 PSI in mine. That is extremely hard to do. Only if you don't follow the instructions on how to put the air in the actual shock itself. Otherwise, you're gonna wind up struggling with that. It was very simple. That was on me, Meyer. Their support team was fantastic with explaining to me that because I was like, why is this for, why are they not staying? It was because of my own error. Pedals were simple to put on. But ultimately, the seat slides in and out, no problems. As you can see, it's a beautiful seat. This seat is absolutely, it's comfortable. I love the way the handlebars are, are situated. It's, it's more of a, what I call a performance sitting posture, but you can just see the carbon fiber frame with the front and rear suspension just looks absolutely gorgeous. I cannot tell you how excited I was once just getting this put together and, and also ensuring that I follow the directions. Um, it's not a hard install. I'm gonna tell you that the build is quite easy if you follow the instructions. I'm so happy. I cannot wait to show you my actual impressions on the ride. But this so far with the install has been a, a really, really good, good experience. So you tell me, 100% killed it. They not only they killed it, I've never had a bike be pulled out without the front rotor being slightly off, warped, um, ultimately rubbing and you're getting that noise, so annoying, right? No, nothing. Every single part, not, there was no damage on this in the shipment at all. Oh, it's a box inside of a box. The box within the box within the box, right? We kind of joked about that at the beginning, but there's a reason behind it. And I can't tell you how excited I am to get this on the road, show you how fast, and let me know what your thoughts are. How fast is this gonna go? You tell me. Do you think I'm gonna do 30? Do you think I'm gonna do 35? Do you think I'm gonna hit 38? I'm telling you, this bike delivers it between the unboxing experience and then having it in front of you, you will really be pleasantly surprised. This is gonna be a three-part video series. Second part will be my ride. So you don't want to miss it. Please let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts are. And you have an awesome day.